I mentioned my dad and I don't know how to talk to each other. We really don't. My dad and I have an interesting relationship. My dad's a doctor, but he's also my doctor. That's a weird relationship to have with your primary care physician. Because we have to have medical conversations. And he's like, you should drink less. And I'm like, you should hug more. <laughs> we'll clear that right up. <laughs>
He does it. He calls us younger for it. He calls us the things that he could have had. He <laughs> called me. He's like, what's up, new shoes? <laughs> Do you know Lake House is coming home before or what? I'm going to talk to Bo. Make plans. <laughs> People do a weird thing when I say I'm one of eight. People are always like, God bless your mother. And that's absolutely true. She had eight pregnancies. She was pregnant from the time she was like 23 to 42. It's crazy. She's a saint. She's one of the best people of all time. But they do this other thing where they'll go, by eight, what were they, just rolling out? Oh, you're six? Oh, you walked out of there. And what a cute way to be like, boy, your mom's vagina is wrecked. <laughs> Boy, you just, just slid right out, huh? I'm like, I don't want to picture that, Scott. I don't think of one particular neighbor who always talks about it. Um, I don't know. My parents and I, we have a weird relationship. My parents were not very supportive of the comedy thing for a while. They've recently come around, but I hold a grudge. So, what I do when they come to shows is I just pick a different couple in the crowd and I pretend they're my parents. I have the whole club cheer for them. <laughs> it's fun, kind of a dick move, but it's fun for me. It would be YouTube for sure. You guys. Yeah, give up for my parents, you guys. You guys are like slightly hotter than my parents, too, so this rips. This is right. It's a fantasy for me. This has absolutely backfired on me in the past. One time, I walked up to a couple before show, I tried to warn them. I was like, hey, I'm gonna get on stage, I'm gonna pretend you're my parents. So. I need you to go with it. And they're like, what? I was like, hey, dial it in. I'm gonna get on stage, I'm gonna pretend you're my parents. Need you to go with it. And they were like, we don't wanna be your parents. <laughs> and I was like, well, you're nailing it. <laughs> they were like, can you find someone else to be your parents? I'm like, now you're quoting them, let's relax. Um, you already got the parts. Eight kids. I have six sisters. Pretty negative reaction. Okay. Interesting, Oklahoma. Tough week to be like, I hate women. <laughs> you guys are like, I hate women. That's a pretty overall negative reaction. Uh, my sisters, my love them. They're not here. Who cares? <laughs> I liked growing up with all girls. It was, it was you know, I didn't have another option, but they, you know, they kept me in line. They made sure I was a good feminist from an early age, which I appreciate. Like, they just kept me straight. Like, I remember when I was eight years old, I told my 15-year-old sister, Allie. I was like, Allie, since I'm a boy, I'm stronger than you. And she suffocated me. <laughs> so the couch pillow just took me down. Been a pretty staunch feminist ever since, you know? It's hard not to be. I mean, my, first, my sisters were my first bullies. You know? Like, they would, they would kind of be into me. But, like, they wouldn't, they weren't, like, bullies for no reason. They were kind of, like, progressive bullies. Like, like bullies with a cause. Which, that's okay, right? Like, they wouldn't beat me up for no reason, but they would throw me in a dress and heels and make me walk through the kitchen. Like a runway. And they'd be like, say it. I'm like, what? They're like, say it. I'm like, my body, your choice. They're like, alright, you can take it off. Welcome to the matriarchy, bitch. <laughs> I'm losing you guys on the feminist stuff, uh, and I'm not gonna lie, I saw that coming. Uh, I know you guys aren't dying for more political opinions from a guy who looks like he was homeschooled on a yacht, so I don't get that ball politically. My sisters really did have the upper hand for a while, because four of them played D1 sports, and I went through puberty when I was 19. I did. I was five foot three as a senior in high school. Yeah. Any other fellas the little spoon in your prom pick? <laughs> it's a cool look. Uh, I just like, wasn't going through puberty. Like, it just wasn't happening. And I would beg my parents to put me on growth hormones. Like, steroids. Uh, we gotta try some of the work for Barry Bonds. Let's give it a shot. I don't know. And my dad would always be like, you have no idea what the side effects of steroids could be. And I'm like, you have no idea how small my penis is. <laughs> Steroids are unexplored territory. I'm like, so is my penis. 
Pizza und Sinn. So small. So small. The first girl who ever saw my little guy, my little dumpling girl, she, um, she goes, whoa. whoa. And I go, whoa, whoa good, whoa bad. And she goes, oh, it's just different than Stevens. I, I didn't know what to say. It was my first time. I was like, uh, uh, different how? Don't question. Not a lot of ways that it was going to be unique. It's not like she was going to be like, well, Stevens Dick had a great taste in music. You know? <laughs> she went smaller. She did. she did not discriminate, though. It was the night of my first ever blowjob. It was amazing. Dropped her off at home about a minute later, and then, uh, <laughs> and then it grew over the next Couple of years, five, whatever, I don't know, it grew to an acceptable size. Manageable, you know, I wouldn't say we're the majors, we're the minors, but we're playing ball, you know? We're kind of like the Oklahoma City Dodgers, that's, that's where we're at. We're in singles, you know? But the second it grew, that's the only unsolicited picture of my penis I've ever sent to anyone. But not to her, that went straight to Steven. <laughs>